the window group. Word 2007 provides more options for viewing multiple documents and multiple windows than ever. Multiple documentation will be used when you want to compare or refer two or more documents. Word provides you three default options to view multiple windows. Go to the View tab in the Window tab. You can find these options. New Window. When you're working on a long document, sometimes you want to see two different parts of the document at the same time, as if they were two separate documents. By clicking this button, we'll get our document opened in two windows that we can scroll independently. Arrange All. Great, now you've got documents open in two or more windows, but it takes a heck of a lot of mouse clicks around and window resizing to get them lined up on your screen at the same time. When we click this Arrange All button, Word documents will share the screen, making it easy to work on one and then the other. Split. An alternative to opening a new window is using the split button to divide the current window into two separate windows. Click the split button, position the pointer and click like this where you want the split to occur. The same document appears in each window, so we can view different sections of the document at the same time. By clicking the Remove Split button, we can view the document in one window again. Viewing multiple windows. One common reason for wanting to see two documents or more on your screen at once is so you can make line-by-line -line comparisons. Here are the commands to help you with the process. View Side-by-Side. -side. Click the View Side-by-Side -side command and Word arranges two windows vertically side-by-side. -side. We can resize the windows by pointing to any edge of the frame. Synchronous Scrolling. The Synchronous Scrolling feature keeps multiple document windows in lockstep. When you scroll one window, the other windows automatically scroll too. Using the same button or keystroke, you can toggle synchronous scrolling on and off as you work with your documents. Reset Window Position. Reset Windows Position. If you're moved or resized your document windows as described earlier under View Side by Side, then we can click this button to reset our view so the windows share the screen equally. Switch Windows. This option will allow us to switch from one window to another window document. By clicking this option, it will list the documents that are currently opened. We can select any of them to switch from one document to another document. Show and hide window tools. Word gives you some visual aids that make it easier to work with your documents. Tools like rulers and grid lines don't show up when you print your document, but they help you line up the elements on the page. To view the Show Hide Window tool, go to View tab in that you can find the Show Hide tab. This consists of Ruler. Use the ruler to adjust margins, set tabs and position items on your page. Grid Lines. When you click the Grid Lines box, it looks like you've created your document on a piece of graph paper. This effect isn't too helpful for an all-text document but it sure comes in handy if you're trying to line up photos on a page. Message Bar. The Message Bar resides directly under the ribbon, and it's where you see alerts about a document's behavior. Document Map. If you work with long documents, you'll like the Document Map. This useful tool appears to the left of your text, showing the document's headings at various levels. Click the Document Map, which displays your Mapped Document dialog box, by clicking a heading, you can jump to that location in your document. Thumbnails. Select the Thumbnails option and you see little icons of your document's pages in the bar on the left. Click a thumbnail to go to that page. In general, thumbnails are more useful for shorter documents and for pages that are visually distinctive. Zooming options. When you're working, do you ever find that sometimes you stick your nose close to the page to examine the details? Word's zoom options let you do the same thing with your screen, but without looking nearly as silly. To work with zooming options, on the View tab, click the big magnifying glass to open the zoom dialog box. Depending on your current document view, you can adjust your view by percentage or relative to the page and text. More on that in a moment. Zooming by percentage. On the Zoom dialog box, you find controls to zoom in and out of your document by percentage. 
The view varies depending on your computer screen and settings, but in general 100% is respectable. The three radio buttons, 200%, 100% and 75%, give you quick access to some standard settings. For in-between percentages like 125%, type a number in the box below the buttons or use the up and down arrows to change the value. Here I am setting 125% to this document. For a quick way to zoom in and out without opening the dialog box, use the zoom slider in the bottom right corner of your window. Drag the slider to the right to zoom in on your document and drag it to the left to zoom out. The percentage changes as you drag. Zooming relative to page or text. Go to View tab. In that, click the magnifying glass icon which displays Zoom dialog box with four radio buttons with plain zoom settings. They are Page Width. This button will resize the page to fill the screen from one side to the other. It's the fastest way to zoom to a text size that most people will use. Text Width. This button zooms in even farther because it ignores the margins of your page. Use this one if you have a high resolution monitor. Whole Page. When you want to see an entire page from top to bottom and left to right, click this button. It's great for getting an overview of how your headings and paragraphs look on the page. Many Pages. This view is the equivalent of spreading your document out on the floor and then viewing it from the top of a ladder. Changing page view from a ribbon. The ribbon offers radio buttons for three popular page views. They're a quick way to change the number of pages you see online without fixing with zoom controls. To view those options, go to the View tab. In that, click on the Zoom drop-down button. Here you find these options, namely One Page. This view shows the entire page in Word's document window. If your screen is large enough, you can read and edit text in this view. Two Pages. In this view, you see two pages side by side. This view is handy when you're working with documents that have two page spreads, like booklets. Page Width. This button does exactly the same thing as the Page Width button in the Zoom dialog box. It's more readable than the one page and two page options because the page fills the screen from edge to edge, making the text appear larger. The Window Group. Word 2007 provides more options for viewing multiple documents and multiple windows than ever. Multiple documentation will be used when you want to compare or refer two or more documents. Word provides you three default options to view multiple windows. Go to the View tab in the Window tab. You can find these options. New Window. When you're working on a long document, sometimes you want to see two different parts of the document at the same time, as if they were two separate documents. By clicking this button, we'll get our document opened in two windows that we can scroll independently. Arrange All. Great, now you've got documents open in two or more windows, but it takes a heck of a lot of mouse clicks around and window resizing to get them lined up on your screen at the same time. When we click this Arrange All button, Word documents will share the screen, making it easy to work on one and then the other. Split. An alternative to opening a new window is using the Split button to divide the current window into two separate windows. Click the Split button, position the pointer and click like this where you want the split to occur. The same document appears in each window, so we can view different sections of the document at the same time. By clicking the Remove Split button, we can view the document in one window again. Viewing multiple windows. One common reason for wanting to see two documents or more on your screen at once is so you can make line-by-line -line comparisons. Here are the commands to help you with the process. View Side-by-Side. -side. Click the View Side-by-Side -side command and Word arranges two windows vertically side-by-side. -side. We can resize the windows by pointing to any edge of the frame. Synchronous Scrolling. The Synchronous Scrolling feature keeps multiple document windows in lockstep. When you scroll one window, the other windows automatically scroll too. Using the same button or keystroke, you can toggle synchronous scrolling on and off as you work with your documents. Reset Window Position Reset Windows Position If you're moved or resized your document windows as described earlier under View Side by Side, then we can click this button to reset our view so the windows share the screen equally. Switch Windows 
This option will allow us to switch from one window to another window document. By clicking this option, it will list the documents that are currently opened. We can select any of them to switch from one document to another document.